Hey, what is going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and in this After Effects video, I want to take a look at how we can use flash effects to enhance our workflow and how to create them. So obviously, if you're into motion graphics, you're going to create a variety of titles, and right here we have a very basic title animation that looks nice, but let's say we want to add more flair to it. What we can do is create some flash effects. So I come here and I'll enable these flash effects real quick, and rendering out these line slash flash elements in here, we're able to spice up this title. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. So here is a very plain title animation, nothing special going on here, just some basic animation. And let's go ahead and spice this up by adding some of these electric flash elements in here and by RAM previewing this. And with these flash elements, we're able to really spice up this scene and make it look really electrified. In this video, I want to give you the techniques to go ahead and create this on your own. And all the elements I'm using right now is coming from the 140 flash effects elements pack off of videohive.net. The 140 flash effects elements is a pre-made pack that's ready to go. You basically just drag and drop your elements onto text and you're able to enhance your work dramatically and put more pop into what you're doing. And more importantly, you're able to save time rather than having to create everything from scratch and you're going to be able to impress your clients or be able to take your work to the next level in a short amount of time with this pack. If you want to check out the full pack, go ahead and check out our link in the description of the video. It'll take you right to the page on videohive.net. But I want to go ahead and break some of these elements down and show you how we can create this from scratch. In this pack, you get a variety of different flash elements. You get smoke assets, electric discharges, basic shapes. You get energy, shape lines, and of course, transitions, which are very handy as well. Before I show you how you can go about creating these assets, let me just show you how quick this pack is and how fast you can enhance your work. So in the project window, I have all my compositions here for smoke explosions, electrical discharges, and so forth. Let's go ahead and look at the flames pack and let's grab flame 06 and I'm gonna bring it underneath our effects here. And we scrub through this real quick, we just have a flame. And what's really cool about this, if you go ahead and open up the composition, you have all of the color control right here and also the glow radius as you can see the fire gets a little bit more you know glowy in there you can come here to the colors at the top and we can change the color of everything so if I want it to be uh, you know a nice green I can select that and then I go to the map to white maybe make it a little bit yellow and go back into our main comp and that's been updated and here's with our quick asset boom it's very easy to work in there so we want to enhance this a little bit further we can go to the energy folder and grab a preset from here a composition and drag this in here and we say we want this to happen right here we have our energy and of course just like before we have all those effects controls to do whatever we want we can easily change the color so maybe we'll do like a nice purple there magenta and of course you have the glow radius again so it's pretty much set up exactly how you need to be set up you even have more properties for glowing and it's just crazy how much detail you have in this so if we need to maybe we can scale this down by a touch or rotate it you know always move it over depending where you want it to be and coming on so it's pretty much all set up for success all right and a little render here boom that looks really nice and we can continue to add on to this scene without a problem say if i want to add some shape lines in here and with another quick preview, boom, that looks nice. And we'll come over here and we'll grab an electric discharge because this thing is pretty awesome. Move this over. Look at that. So just a little solo there. Yeah, that looks really cool. And we come here, of course, change the color again. Obviously, we have so much control, detail, and we're ready to go to create something amazing. Obviously, I have so many options to work with here, and we're able to spice up a scene within a matter of of minutes it just drag and drop and able to change the color now so if you're here to learn i want to show you how you can easily create these assets and we'll go ahead and start a composition and let's get started so so let's get ready and create this electrical discharge so i already have a blank composition in here and the first thing i want to do is i want to talk about tools and shape layers real quick so everything is going to come through the path that you're going to create so if you create a rectangle this is a path and we'll be using the pen tool in this tutorial and hopefully by the end of all this this will make a lot more sense go here first grab our pen tool so i'm coming here towards the middle of our composition just click a point there and from here i'm just going to draw out these like zigzagged lines like this and first things first click on the word fill and make sure that's set to none click ok and click on the word stroke and set this to solid color and i'm going to use a stroke count of 11 and so we have our one point here and then basically here you click off of it 
and you add another point close to the middle and you continue to create like these zigzags like this you know it doesn't have to be perfect you can do whatever you want and we'll continue to add on this all right and then also what's cool is that you might also want to add some extra branches here so like maybe towards here at the top you add another point and you know just do something cool like this and if you want you can always change the stroke width so maybe we'll go down to like seven maybe five so I went ahead and finished off this entire branched design here, kind of perfected a little bit more. It doesn't really matter. All thing that matters is how you animate your path, right? For doing an electric discharge, it doesn't really matter how good your path looks as long as you have something kind of similar to this. And from here, what we'll do is we'll add and we'll add a trim paths effect. And we can open this property up and we increase it. You can see that we see some animation here. Let's go to the end percentage. Come here to the beginning of our composition. We'll decrease this to 0%, add a keyframe for end percentage. And we'll move forward to maybe two seconds and increase it to 100%. Then we'll come here to a little few frames over from the beginning, add a keyframe for start percentage, and we'll go past the last keyframe by a little bit and increase it to 100% as well. And we run through this, we kind of have a little bit of you know stroke in here. Let's go ahead and tighten up this start keyframe by a little bit so the lines are a little bit longer and we might need to move them over by a touch. So now we have that. And that looks pretty cool. And we can always come back and perfect this a little bit later. So let's now make this look like a electrical discharge. Go to effect and go to distort and we'll add in turbulent displace. And from here, let's go to displacement and let's set this to twist. Let's decrease the amount to maybe like negative 40. Go to the size. We'll decrease this as well to like 30 or 40. We'll increase the complexity. So go to like three to four. Let's alt click the stopwatch for evolution and let's type in time asterisk and I'll do like 1000 and simply it's just time asterisk 1000 as an expression. Okay, so we're on the right path, but it's still not perfect. Let's go ahead and let's duplicate the turbulent displace by hitting control D on a PC or command D on a Mac. Let's reset the effects so that we have to restart here and let's go ahead and decrease the amount all the way to like negative 50 and we come here to offset turbulence and we can increase the X and Y values here. Just kind of offset it a little bit, create a little bit of variation. Then let's go back into the evolution properties, which is down here in the timeline at the bottom here. And let's just take the take it from 1000 to 100. And then let's go up to effect stylize and let's add roughen edges. Let's set the edge type to spiky. Let's decrease the border to about four. Go to edge sharpness, increase this to almost three. Go to scale and we'll bring this down by a little bit so we get more defined edges there. And of course we can increase the stretch width or height. Okay, so everything here should be ready to go. Let's start colorizing this and making this look like a legitimate discharge that we can use. So go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call this one discharge. And let's go up to effect color correction and let's add tint. And the color we want to change is matte black too. So go click on the first color here and you can set it to whatever color you want. We'll do purple. Then let's go up to effect perspective and let's add drop shadow and from here you want to lower the opacity by a touch decrease the distance to zero and increase the softness to about 20 and then make sure you select the eyedropper tool and select the color purple or your matte black to color from the tint property and then we'll go ahead and duplicate the drop shadow and we'll lower the opacity we'll come here to the softness and increase this to about 80 and now we're all set up for the final glow effect. So go up to effect, stylize, and let's add glow. And this is where this effect is going to come to life. So the first thing in this effect, let's increase the glow radius to about 80. Then let's increase the glow intensity to around 3. And then under glow colors, you have original colors right here. Set this to A and B colors. And then go to color looping and set it to sawtooth B greater than A. And then finally go to color A and select that same color that you've been using and now we have colorized our electrical discharge. So if we look at the other one here, it's pretty much the same exact thing. And instantly like that, we have created pretty much the same exact effect. And what's cool is that basically any sort of path that you create, you're gonna be able to create this sort of liquid discharge and it's gonna look pretty awesome. So of course, creating all these assets can take a little bit of time. And looking at our 140 flash effects elements, everything is created with a path and obviously with the same glow effects.
that you're able to you know really make your elements pop and of course if you are interested in bringing your work to the next level and having more assets in your library i highly suggest picking up the 140 flash effects elements off of videohive.net and, and once again that link is in the description of this video it'll take you right to this page and you can learn more about the product and see if it's a great fit for your library so i hope you guys were able to take away a few techniques from our tutorial here and if you did enjoy the video please be sure to drop a like on this because it helps me out tremendously and please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more after effects videos just like this and also be sure to hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the description of the video and always be creative